Alright, similar idea, but now we're going to have different accelerations because they're slipping. So we have F12 equals M1A now, but now we're dealing with kinetic friction. So we actually have mu1 kinetic times M1G equals M1A. So um, I think we actually get an acceleration on this as mu1 kinetic times G, if I have that right, for block number two, let's actually go ahead and get its acceleration. So we're going to have that, a very similar equation. We're going to have that um, here. I'll write it like this. Um, you know what? I can't really copy it, so I'll just have the tension minus mu two kinetic m1 plus m2g minus f12 equals m2a and um, this is a2 and um, let's be clear the acceleration of block 2 is also going to match the acceleration of the hanging mass so we have mg minus t equals ma2 since the the block since the rope doesn't slacken any so um, big M and M2 move at the same pace. Keeping that in mind, we're going to say that Mg minus Ma2 equals the tension, and I can substitute into here. So we have Mg minus Ma2 minus mu2 kinetic M1 plus M2g minus F12, which is minus mu1 kinetic M1 g equals m2 a2. So let's put some of this together and um, we'll end up getting that um, mg minus mu2 kinetic m1 plus m2 g minus mu1 kinetic m1 g oh um over m plus m2 equals a2. So that's the acceleration on the second block. That's question number one in the free response. Um, good little problem. I like that. So um, it stumped a lot of people. So I'm really glad we did that one. All right. So we'll do the last free response um, in the next video.